Margot Robbie kissed with who? The chance to kiss Brad Pitt wasn't something Margot Robbie was going to pass up. The movie Babylon, which debuts next month, features both of them as stars. A kiss between the two co-stars in the film was improvised by none other than Robbie herself and was not part of the screenplay. In a recent interview with E! News, Robbie discussed the incident. The first trailer for the new historical comedy drama Babylon debuted two months ago and it received a ton of attention. Damien Chazelle, who also wrote and directed the critically acclaimed movies La La Land and Whiplash, will be responsible for directing the movie, which will debut in some cinemas on December 23 in America and in other locations on January 6. The ensemble cast of Babylon has made fans even more eager for the movie's debut, with Brad Pitt, Margot Robbie, Diego Calva, and Tobey Maguire just a few of its well-known actors. This is in addition to the film's renowned director and attention-grabbing trailers. Margot plays aspiring actress Nellie in this movie to assist her achieve success and celebrity in the 1920s Hollywood. She enlists in aid of Diego's Manny and Brad's Jack. In an interview with E! News, Margot discussed the project and provided some behind-the-scenes insight on one of the film's most significant additions. She clarified, that wasn't in the script, but I thought, when else am I gonna get the chance to kiss Brad Pitt? I'm just gonna go for it. The Australian-born actress admitted to not so subtly introducing the idea to the film's director, Damien Chazelle, pointing out that it would be appropriate for her role as Nelly, a wild actress who was rising in Hollywood during the Roaring Twenties. She outlined, I said, Damien, I think Nelly would just go up and kiss Jack. And Damien was like, well, she could... Wait, hold on. You just want to kiss Brad Pitt. And I was like, oh, sue me. This opportunity might never come up again. And he was like, it does work for the character. And I was like, I think so. The Suicide Squad actress revealed that Chazelle believed the addition was just the scene she required. So it seemed like the fantasy turned reality ended up working pretty well. She outlined, he was like, no, do it again. That really works. I was like, oh, great. Ha, <laughs> amazing wingman. If you needed a reminder to stand up for yourself, this is it. Margot continued, revealing that she had shared another on-screen kiss. I actually kissed Catherine Waterson as well, but I don't know if that made the cut. Well, one thing is for sure from all this, Margot does kiss and tell. Oh, and just in case, if you're in a movie with her, maybe keep it minty fresh at all times. Ha! <laughs> According to Robbie, both Chazelle and she thought the kiss fit her character well. Damon knew the kiss had to be included in the final cut when it came time to shoot the scene. He was like, no, do it again. That really works, Robbie explained. Brad and Mario previously worked together on the drama comedy The Big Short from 2015, and more recently on Quentin Tarantino's smash hit Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Additionally, the two have a long-standing connection. Bright even asked Margot for help with a slightly clumsy victory speech at the 2020 BAFTA Awards. You may recall that Brad had planned to crack a joke about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, leaving the royal family to spend more time in Canada. He requested Margot to make the speech in his place the night before the ceremony. However, when he found himself unable to show up, he says he is going to call his prize Harry because he's so pleased to bring it back to the States with him, Margot recounted, reading Brad's speech aloud from a piece of paper. Surprisingly, Prince Harry's brother and sister-in-law, who were seated in the front row, joined the audience and laughed laughing at the little joke. However, Margot claimed she was so panicked about giving Brad's speech that she failed to prepare any remarks herself while recalling the evening during a subsequent appearance on Good Morning America. Margot had also been nominated for two Oscars. The night before, he was like, can you do my speech for me? I can't be there, she said. I was so panicked about his speech and that I didn't even think about preparing one for myself. I was up for two awards, she continued for both films in my category, and it wasn't until I was on the way there that I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't win, because I don't have anything to say. Early excitement about Robbie's performance has been generated ahead of the award season, with fellow actor Eric Roberts likening it to Elizabeth Taylor's in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. I will also tell you that Margot Robbie is going to win an Academy Award for that. Robert said, she gives the most incredible performance in Babylon that I have ever seen. She blew me away. I couldn't believe how brilliant every minute of every day she was. So this was a win-win situation for Margot. What do you think?